Well, today we are back with the comet moth caterpillars from Madagascar, also known as our Gemma Matray. These larvae have just shed into instar 5, the last and largest instar before cocooning. If you have seen my previous videos of the earlier instars, you will notice the change in color and size. They are now a very lime green, very thick bodied, and also very hairy. And as you can see, very, very hungry. They not only eat the leaves of the cotinus plant they are feeding on, but do a pretty good job of chewing down the stems as well. Looking close up, you can see all the hairs protruding from their bodies, and their prolegs have gotten quite thick as well. Take a look at how beefy that clasper is securing him to the plant, making sure he won't be falling off. There is not much that they do alternating between eating and resting, but this is the longest and most active part of this species' life. Once it becomes a moth, its eating days are over and its remaining time is short. The adults, in all their beauty and great size, are like flowers that bloom just once a year for a few days. They are brilliant and then vanish. From this vantage point, you can see how truly hairy these larvae are. They are the hairiest I have raised as of yet. Their faces so furry, you cannot tell where eyes or mouth are, except while they eat. Even their front legs look like they are sporting hairy boots. These moths are found in the rainforests of Madagascar, where it is typically hot and humid, so it is difficult to recreate their natural environment with constant temperatures. But it will be worth it to see the spectacular adult with a wingspan of just under 8 inches, and the males have very long tails at just under six inches long. This large size ranks them as one of the world's largest silk moths, highly sought after by collectors for display. Even the caterpillars become enormous before cocooning at nearly six inches and 20 grams or more of weight. Our Gemma Matray can spend anywhere from two to four weeks in this final instar with most going the full month. They are a slower growing species compared to other silk moths, so patience is required. I am hoping the next video will be of the cocooning stage. These caterpillars make impressive large cocoons that are both unusual and interesting. So if you haven't already, please subscribe so you won't miss our next episode with these fascinating creatures. And as always, thanks for watching.